Hey, Matt. Um, okay. Let me start by asking, you know, as that weekend was unfolding and you watched, I, I saw either watched or saw clips of the way that the Bengals <laughs> won and the, and the 49ers won. Was there a part of you that was thinking, you know what, I'd, I'd like that kind of an opportunity? Definitely. I think we spoke earlier in the year about wanting those opportunities and uh, I've been talking about wanting one of those opportunities and getting it. And I mean, you see the first two games that both come down to field goals and in a way you're thinking there's no way that another one happens, but you kind of <laughs> want it to happen again. And then the game's unfolding the way it does and just try to stay ready. Just try to stay ready for that moment when it does come. After, you know, you kick a couple yesterday and then you miss one. What do you think, you know, what was your mindset after missing that one? And did you think, or, you know, pray you were going to get a chance to get another, you know, another shot at one? Oh, yeah. I mean, the first, you like to make them all. Um, but, I mean, the first thought when when you do miss one is you, you want to get back out there and get another opportunity to make it right. So just coming on the side of the field, especially uh, the way it happened, was just making sure that, you know, staying ready, lock in, you know, that you're going to get that opportunity to, to help your team get a win. And so, yeah, I just made sure that I was, you know, put that aside and get ready for the next one. Thanks very much. Hey, Gary. Kevin. Uh, hi, Matt. Um, can hey. you kind of take us through the final drive from your perspective from after the, uh, after they scored to <laughs> your kicking the game winner? Yeah. Uh, you got a guy, we got guys on our team that can make plays. So, I mean, you know that you're confident in their ability to get you down there and just kind of walking down the sideline, just, hey, get me down there. And, uh, I mean, take you through the drive. It wasn't much of it. It wasn't a long drive. There's two, I mean, staff to coop, staff to coop. And uh, they get us in position. They did a great job handling the, the clock and getting down there and clocking it. Um, unbelievable play by those those guys. I mean, they you can't say enough about them and, and – that's <laughs> just how good those guys are. And, uh, I mean, they did their thing and then, you know, was able to go down and, and help us get a win. And are you watching all of that from the sideline or are you doing other things to get ready for what, what might be to come? Uh, I, I'm in the net. I'm in the net on the sideline. I'm hitting kicks into the net, uh, making sure I'm ready and warm, um, ready to go. But I'm always peeking at that, uh, that video board, making sure I'm, I'm keyed into what the situation is. Uh, and obviously, we have no timeouts, so you got to be clued into being ready to go on. So uh, I was ready. I knew they were running out of clock it, and we were going to get an opportunity. So after I saw that, I started making my way onto the field. So what happens inside you when they hit the 44-yard the pass and you know it's going to happen? I thought Coop was going to score. I thought I thought he was going to walk it off a touchdown. So I was, I was a little hyped on it, watching him uh, catch it. I thought he was going to run in. And then uh, – Obviously, gets tackled, and uh, you see him running to clock it, and it's just time to handle business. And so he goes through your process. It's just like any other kick. You know, you, you go through your routine that, that you have, and walking onto the field, uh, a couple guys gave me a little a little nod, a little, a little gesture, just like, you got this, and went out there and uh, was fortunate to make that. Artist, can I get one more? That was that was question one A. What do you what do you do is run against the side for one on one after this? I mean, golly, <laughs> oh, we got some guys. Go ahead, man. <laughs> you you said you keep warm. Yesterday was an uncharacteristically chilly, windy day. I think. Uh, yeah, Florida, right? What what were the conditions like? And obviously, you've kicked there before. Was yeah. it was it unusual for you? Uh, I mean, you can't complain. You see some other games that are a little bit colder than the one we had. So uh, we were fortunate to have the game we had. But uh, just I think more unexpected than anything going down to Tampa, it's, it was just the unexpected. It was a little cold, breezy. and um, But it, it was totally fine. It was, it was nothing you couldn't handle, nothing you couldn't stay warm with, uh, moving around, things like that. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, wasn't, it wasn't an issue. Thank you. Stu. Matt, that fourth quarter was, um, you know, pretty chaotic. How were you kind of processing that? You know, obviously when you weren't out there on the field and when you were, you know, on the sidelines watching. Yeah. Uh, crazy game. Uh, a lot happened. Uh, you just try to 
stay keyed into what you're doing. You know, it, it, football is a team game and everyone's got their responsibilities and their jobs to do. And I trust those guys to do that, to do their jobs. And I hope that they trust me to do mine. So I just try to stay keyed into to my, my routine, um, the way I handle myself on the sideline and trust those guys to, to get it done. But uh, just kind of stick in even with the, the ebbs and flows of the game. Uh, there was a lot of changing possessions and stuff like that, that happen. And you're just trying to stay ready for your opportunity. And going back to what Gary had asked earlier, I mean, as you're kind of looking up periodically at the video board, aside from, you know, obviously when it got later in the game, later in the fourth quarter, at what point did you realize that, hey, maybe this might come down to, you know, me needing to uh, make a kick here and uh, send us on and advance to the NFC Championship? Yeah, uh, obviously, had the, obviously missed one. Uh, <laughs> a little puzzled. Came off the sideline on that one. Uh, just kind of sit there for a second, and then had some teammates come up and said, "Hey, you know, we're gonna need, we're gonna need you." And uh, uh, Snapper Orzek kind of came to me and said, "Hey, it's gonna it's gonna come down to you." And uh, you got a guy on the other side of the other side of the side sideline that can do some miraculous things, and obviously uh, made it a close game. But I mean, when the, my teammates kind of said, "Hey, we're gonna need you," we get it was time to like let that one go and, and lock into the opportunity that's going to come. So uh, that's what I did. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, Matt, uh, probably not a great segue, but uh, wanted to ask you about that miss. Uh, you said it was puzzling. Uh, Matthew Stafford indicated there was like, not necessarily the conditions were bad, but there was a crosswind happening down there. What, uh, what led to that and kind of made you sort of troubleshoot that in real time? Yeah, the wind uh, kind of felt like it was coming off the the open ends of the end zone, kind of coming down uh, from both directions. Uh, pre-game, the, the wind was kind of pushing the ball down. Um, it seemed like the more you got it up there, the more the kind of wind just kind of knocked the ball down. Um, didn't have any uh, problems with, with that distance in pre-game. Uh, but, I mean, things happen. Don't catch it purely clean and then you kind of feel like it's it's still good and then you just kind of watch it hit a little wall and uh yeah a little just a little puzzled uh on that one but uh it is what it is the game unfolded the way it did uh so there's a reason for everything is there something about i know there's been studies done on the sides of the each end zone there in that specific place yeah. um is is there something about kicking toward that ship too that uh, you know, that the way, the way the wind happens to intersect coming through those sides and, and obviously through the ship is that you obviously were there for a while and, and know that very well. So is, is there something about that there? Uh, I mean, stats would say there, there is, um, statistics and stuff. I think actually the other end zone is the one that has whatever numbers to it, but, uh, no, I, I think that was just, uh, it's just like any other place. You just got to be able to play it and learn it. That was just unfortunate that, uh, you know, didn't get all of that one. And then um, we asked you this uh, last time, last year, uh, similar similar game game ending situ situation happens. Um, does this remain kind of personal for you to, to be able to do that, you know, on that field in that moment? And now obviously with the stakes higher than they've ever been. I don't want to say personal, but I mean, I mean, there's a chip on your shoulder. I mean, you feel like you were deservedly to, I don't know, not be let go from a team and felt like you were, you know, the person that you were. And when it comes down to it, I mean, it, it's, it's nice to get that moment and that opportunity. Um, I've had it twice now, but it's more, it's more about helping this team win than it is anything proven to them or anything like that. I'm, I'm way happier to help us win than I am focused on anything else on that, on that side of things. So I'm just happy that I could help us get to the NFC championship. Thank you, Matt. Thanks Jordan. We'll, we'll wrap up with you, Gray. Hey Matt, did you tweak something pregame? Al Michaels seemed to think you had. Uh, no, just, just warming up. Uh, it takes you a little bit to get going. Uh, you're out there, you just hitting some balls, working through getting warm and everything like that. So uh, no issues there. I know that reports you are going around, but no issues there. 
Okay, and then from your perspective, as you get on that plane last night, the very festive plane, and, and start coming back and start putting your minds toward the 49ers, what do you sense is the attitude of this team going into a game against a team that's had your number for, you know, most of the time that all these guys on the, most of the guys on the roster have been here? What, what kind of determination do you sense and feel? Uh, I just feel like we're locked into our game plan. We're locked into what we're doing right now. I feel like we're, we're rolling right now. The team's got a good vibe to it. Um, these leaders are stepping up, and it – it's it's a game that definitely you you want a little payback for. Uh, I think these guys have you know for some reason whatever it is um, they've been able to you know take care of business against us. Um, but it's it's one and done, and it's it's time to go. So I think the team is uh, team's ready to go. We're locked into what we're doing on our side of things, and uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good game on uh, Sunday. Thanks, Matt.